హలో ఫోక్స్ మీ కెన్ టాక్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద వన్ థింగ్ దట్ యూ షుడ్ కీప్ ఇన్ మైండ్ ఇట్ చేసింగ్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్త్ పర్సెంటైల్ ఇన్ అ సెక్షన్ వాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద వన్ థింగ్ దట్ యూ షుడ్ కీప్ ఇన్ మైండ్ చేసింగ్ నైంటీ నైన్త్ పర్సెంటైల్ ఇన్ క్వాంట్ ఇట్స్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఫేవరెట్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఇంకా వెన్ వెన్ ఎవర్ పీపుల్ టాక్ మీ అండ్ దెన్ సే లుక్ ఇన్ క్వాంట్ ఐ యూషువలీ గెట్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ కరెక్ట్ సో ఐ అష్యూమ్ అరౌండ్ అటెంప్ట్ అరౌండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఐ గెట్ ఫాల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ రైట్ యూజువలీ ఐ కమ్ బ్యాక్ బై సైంగ్ సో so do you select four questions to get wrong and then mark them wrong so that after that you can attempt freely without the pressure fine so uh, so which five questions are you planning to get wrong and so seems like a very corny cocky uh, arrogant statement to make but there's a point here and so don't do quant with an attempted accuracy rate of anything less than 100% and it's absurd and so for sometimes in 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 in, in verbal or in the para summary question you feel very torn between two choices and then you feel like look i've come this far i can go with the b that's that's gambling in not gambling mild risk taking in measured manner and that's very right very legitimate and you should gravitate towards uh, measuring your risk and doing that in quant if your answer you've solved and got 16 and the four choices are 89 92 95 and 97 you cannot mark 89 and there's a very famous meme about this right so you can't mark so you get the answer and get the answer otherwise you don't do right so some really uh, extraordinary guys gamble in quant when they're absolutely stand strap for time they take chances with the last three questions that's a whole separate matter forget about that otherwise in quant there is no such thing between trade off between speed and accuracy suppose you're willing to trade that off and you do something quicker then that doesn't mean that you're doing it deliberately wrong and so the, the, the trade off for that extra speed is just random gambling don't do that you cannot plan for a quant an attempt with anything uh, aiming for anything less than 100% accuracy the guys who, who, who get 99th percentile are consistently the guys who attempt 16 questions and get all of them right or 19 questions all of them right and the, the frightfully good ones right so uh, having said that i've made mistakes in pra- practically every cat quant over the last 10 12 years right so sometimes i get caught out by the paper some brilliant question i walk into a trap sometimes i do 5 plus 6 is 12 that's fine you can get caught out by a legitimately brilliant question everybody is allowed to make the odd silly mistake right so that's not what i'm talking about per se temperamentally attitudinally what is there in your head you must say look i am looking to get everything right there is no trade off between speed and accuracy the best scorers in this paper are the ones who are by and large getting most questions right if you are attempting 10 questions in quant and you typically get seven wrong you've got it completely wrong if you you you, you, you if you consistently get 30% of your questions wrong uh, you're doing something wrong something funny if you attempt 14 questions in quant you must get 13 right and the 14th one should be a clearly identifiable error where you either walked into a trap or made some silly mistake and so don't plan don't play with a with an expected or targeted accuracy rate of anything less than 100% and that that attitudinal shift must come must come for quant 100% it must come uh so if you reach a level of expertise where you can play the fool and gamble with a couple of questions that is after you reach 99.5 you're putting fight for 99.7 in the last 40 second it's a whole separate thing right? so that's not what i'm talking about otherwise the attempt a targeted accuracy rate in quant has to be 100% keep in mind 